I'm Brian Holcomb here with Dan Seaton at the finish line in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, Dan, junior men's race 17-18 this morning. Uh, we saw what many expected to see, uh, Matthew Vanderpool pull away early and just dominate the field. We saw him get off to a fast start. Another guy that we saw not get off to a fast start was Logan Owen, the American, came in with a lot of pressure. Uh, started on the, the final red dot before the, before the green dot fired was kind of on the back foot from there and came back. Uh, Vanderpol, he, he's won more than 20 races this year. He's undefeated in his final season as a junior. How good is that kid? Vanderpol is just, he's on another level, you know? I mean, he is capable of riding faster than the elites uh, in, in his races. And uh, I mean, he's certainly got the pedigree and he's, he's just winning everything. I mean, this kid is gonna be a superstar. Is he a superstar now? Well, I, yeah, maybe. I mean, he's a junior. He's got a. He's got a. It's a tough transition to go from the juniors into the elites, but everything points to really great prospects for him. By the end of the day, we may see him turning faster lap times than some of the elite riders. In uh, fact, yeah. In fact, the course is getting very soggy now. It's starting to melt. The temperatures are coming up, and you may be right that the, the elite race is going to be a heavier course. So, indeed. Uh, the other, the other big story of the race was Logan Owen. He had a slow start, came back was in uh, bronze medal position, but then faded late uh, after a bit of a mishap. Uh, he came in with enormous pressure. A uh, young American, you know, one of our U.S. publications had him on the cover uh, asking if he was the next Van Ness. Uh, how does this set him up for the future? Is this a good thing for him thinking long term? He has a long future in this sport potentially. Yeah, you know, I think in the short term it hurts. I mean, this is a kid who's capable of riding right there with the best in the world. In the World Cups, he's been like just on fire. He's a very smart racer. He's very, very good tactically. So this is going to be a blow today. But you know, like Logan has really great prospects, and he's had a lot of pressure on him as like the next big American star. And I think, not to say that he's going to be happy about this, but you have to learn to deal with success and with, with disappointment. And I think you know it's going to help him grow and mature. And I think he really has a bright future. Um, uh, it's a it's a big disappointment, but uh, yeah, maybe long term this will this will be a really important step in his sort of maturation into the next level of uh, racing. There's a lot of next level racing coming in Logan Owens' future. For Dan Seaton, I'm Brian Holcomb. Follow VeloNews.com for all the latest racing news and analysis.